Microsoft has done it. They've made a good product. And I'm not actually, I don't know if I can give them credit for this one because really it's a product that was around in Windows 95, it was remade in Windows XP, and now has been remade once again in Windows 10. It's fantastic, it's called Power Toys. Now with that said, let's get on the desktop and show you all the different things about Power Toys. And I gotta say, I love this addition to Windows. Every single Windows install, I'm putting this on here and you're gonna see why. Better yet, Microsoft here on the desktop, you can see has made Power Toys completely open source as well, which is fantastic. I absolutely love this project and you're gonna about to see why. Scrolling down a little bit, it comes with so many utilities. Now, you can install this by just clicking the stable branch right here, download that, run it. Now, the first thing, color picker, you can actually pick specific colors that are from an application. This can be very helpful when doing web page design and those types of things. I don't use this very often. Uh, I actually find when I make uh, botting tools or things like that, and let's say I'm looking for specific colors on the screen, I can easily use a color picker and grab that. So it does come in handy every once in a while. That's another use for it, but not something that it, most your average Joe will actually use. Fancy zones, however, is something that's just completely amazing. This is something I use all the time going into it. If we hold windows and type the tilde here, we'll pull up the templates. Uh, that's the shortcut key to just pop it up. Obviously, you need to be running Power Toys in the background once you download it. I don't like any of their built-in ones. I feel like it was just kind of thrown together because these aren't typical layouts you'd see in like a tiling window manager. However, we can just create our own. We'll do ahead and create a custom right here. And I'm just going to say edit selected layout. I want to do three zones. And what I'm going to do is just kind of put these zones over here and just you can see how I'm actually putting them on the screen. Each one of these zones, I like to have one big zone with two smaller zones side by side. This is gonna be a game changer for any ultra wide users out there. Uh, I can't tell you how many times people hate the half and half split with an ultra wide where they'd like more of like a 60-40 or 70-30 split. This would be just a, a godsend for you. So we're gonna go save and apply. And as you see, we have our window, but you notice it's just doing regular snapping. With that said, if we hold shift, we can have our zones picked up. So if I wanna drop it in that zone, we can just easily navigate around our system, which is great. This is a very, very powerful tool, one that I highly recommend anybody do. If you're gonna use Power Toys, Fancy Zone, I think is just a must. One thing is there's a couple options here that I, I haven't gone over. And if we go over to the settings menu in Power Toys, you can see the different things. Most of the default options here are quite good. Couple things that you can override, like the Windows Snap feature. The Windows arrows right now are just doing the default ones. But if you override it and move Windows based on their positions, and you can also, obviously, you want to probably move across all monitors. I'm This is a single monitor here, so it doesn't matter. But now you can see it's moving from zones instead of just the actual uh, traditional 50-50 split or min-max, which is kind of cool. A lot of these other options I didn't particularly like or, or find a use for, but definitely tinker around in here. I do kind of like making the dragged window transparent, but that's just personal preference. Everything else here is great. You can exclude apps. Let's say you have a game or something that's causing problem, put it in here and exclude it as well. Now, moving on from fancy zones, we'll go into File Explorer. This is just some default options. As soon as you install Power Toys, give some previews for markdown files and SVG files, which is cool. You can actually see these. Image resizer, you can actually have like a, a easy access image resizer. I don't particularly care for this because I'm a more of a GIMP guy. I like to really get granular and break down my files to very, very small specific web-based files. But for most people, probably 99% of the people, you don't need your file to be 10 kilobits like I do. And this would be just a really easy way to resize images on the fly, which is great. So if you wanna use this, by all means, it's here. It's great, it works. Keyboard Manager is something that I really had a whole bunch of high hopes for because I wanted to remap quitting and I wanted to map launching specific applications. I got to tell you, it just doesn't work very well. I've tried a whole bunch of different configurations. I've tried launching this as admin. I've tried 
all kinds of different configurations with power toys. And I just could not get keyboard manager to ever work reliably yet. So I imagine this would get patched out in the future. In the meantime, obviously auto hotkey is still where it's at. I have auto hotkey running almost on all my systems, any of my windows systems, just so I can easily launch like my web browser and, and easily get around using hotkeys. I'm curious to see where this goes in the future. I would love to just use this built-in tool to power toys. Power rename is just a bulk rename tool. Uh, this saves time by not downloading a third party tool. I've used a lot of third party tools to do bulk renames in the past. Having this here, I'll have to give it a whirl. I have not tried it out yet, but it is here. Now, Power Toys Run, this actually is default alt space, which is actually a pretty terrible default hotkey because if you do alt space, most windows, like uh, this actual Brave browser, alt space will actually bring up this as a shortcut and it'll actually take precedent over that. I, I only say that because it's really important. It's a really cool feature. If you like Spotlight, which I'll go ahead and close, you can you have now have like a Spotlight alternative in Windows. So for you Mac users on Windows, having this here, you can actually type, hey, I want to launch Brave. And you launch right into your Brave browser. So it's like a Spotlight tool. I rebound this to Windows key and space. As that's probably a little more intuitive, a little makes a little bit more sense. And the actual tool itself it does work quite well. So I love Power Toys Run, fantastic. And then finally, I, I didn't think I would like this feature, but I absolutely love it. If I hold down the Windows key, it shows me all my shortcuts. So while holding the Windows key, I can press A to open up Action Center, and that would open up that. If I press up, it would maximize my window. And you can see it kind of in the background and moving my window around. That is super, super cool. And then if I want to launch File Explorer, I can do that. It's really neat. It's an easy way to learn shortcut hotkeys. The coolest thing about this is if you're a noob and you don't know these hotkeys, this helps teach you. And when you go onto a system that doesn't have this, well, you already know the hotkeys, so you can easily launch right into them, which is kind of a game changer. A lot of people discount hotkeys, and hotkeys is probably one of the main pillars for productivity on Windows 10. I imagine they're going to expand on this. It's still the early days of Power Toys. But I got to tell you, I absolutely love the project as it is right now. I know they're going to improve on it in the future. And even if they didn't, I don't care. It works great. And I, I think the Fancy Zones is my favorite highlight of this. So definitely check that out. I love tiling window managers in Linux. So obviously Fancy Zones, I was right at home holding shift to drag things into specific. It was pretty intuitive, not quite the same as a tiling window manager, but very similar. And it definitely added to my productivity to where I'm much more productive. But with all that said, what do you guys think? Power Toys, Windows 10, it's come back. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments section. I always look forward to reading your comments and uh, getting your feedback on this fantastic tool in Windows. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, before you go though, what do you guys think of the new setup? I've been working on my audio, I swear. I'm going to get it perfect eventually, one of these days. I've only been doing this for two something years. <laughs> and I'm this close to getting my audio where it should be. It's only taken me two years. But yeah, let me know about that too down in the comments. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next one.